Hi Cancer, welcome to your July 2021 Taroscope with me, Raphael from Radiant Reality. It's an absolute pleasure to have you. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so much for joining me. Quick note, my readings are for your Sun, Moon and Ascendant signs. So if you're a Sun, Moon or Rising Sign Cancer, this is for you. And I always advise that you watch all three to get a clearer, more complete picture of how they speak to you. Before we start, <coughs> As always, I would like to bless my deck of cards with all forms of love, light, peace, prosperity and abundance. And I pray that the messages that come through are ultimately clear and concise and help you on your path to your highest vibrational good. Uh, so if you are a continued subby, you know Rafi loves you. And if you are new to my channel, please don't forget to like, share. And if you should so choose and it resonates, hit the subscribe button. Uh, so your actions and interactions with the world at large over the course of July. And before we start, let me just say a happy damn birthday to you if you are celebrating Celebrating your birthday or your solar return this month I truly hope that you have an amazing amazing day remember to fill the day of your solar return with a little bit of everything that you want this entire next year to have in it for you all right so you're setting the intention on that solar return day and the reason I feel this is so important um, I haven't read this anywhere as such but this is the way that I kind of interpret the whole idea of astrology when it comes to the Sun the Sun takes a whole year to travel the zodiac right and along that path, it will be gathering and gaining different knowledge from different signs, different house placements and aspects and all the rest of it. And so when it comes back into your sign, it's not just a personal rebirth or a re-illumination of some sort. He's taking all of the joy, the wisdom, the understanding, uh, the knowledge, all of the newfound soul lessons and then pouring them into you. This is why your solar return, in my personal opinion, is so important. It's not just about birthday wishes, although they help, and presents and nice um, right it's about more than that so you're being infused with everything that the sun has learned on his journey throughout the last 12 months so use this time to set the intention for what it is that you want to learn and grow into over the course of the next 12 months fill that day with a little bit of everything that you want this entire year to have in it for you all right so for your actions and options, over actions and interactions with the world at large, you have the Knight of Pentacles. So slow and steady is gonna win the race, but also this is a month where some form of travel is very likely to take place. The Knight of Pentacles always says to you that whatever the results are, they are assured, but they are gonna be slow to come. Now, because this is about your actions and interactions, it's about what you do. This is a road trip. This is going to visit someone. This is hopping in the car and go into your favorite space, going to visit a place that you've never been before, going to meet somebody. Um, you know, what I love about the Knight of Pentacles, it does suggest some sort of physical travel. And because this is about what you're initiating or what you're doing to interact with the world, I really feel like this is prominent. So use that to your advantage this month. For your money and materials, you have the Three of Cups. This month, you are enjoying yourself, Cancer. Good food, good wine, fun, enjoyment. Look at this. This could literally be a road trip with a friend. This could be a road trip to re reunite or have a reunion with friends, family, loved ones. There's a sense of reconnection here. You know, if this is obviously this, if this is possible in your part of the world at the moment, given the current climate, etc. But this looks really, really beautiful. Uh, another thing with the Three of Cups, when it comes to money and resources, I don't think this is necessarily a month where, and this isn't to say that you can't make good money this month, you know, it's the Three of Cups. So if you are making good money this month, although the results are slow, it is going to be, it's going to be easy, right? It's going to be relatively easy to create what it is that you're trying to create. But with the Three of Cups, this suggests to me that you are enjoying the fruits of your labor. This is where you kind of say, you know what, I've worked really hard, I'm gonna treat myself, I'm gonna buy myself something that I need, or I'm gonna go and stay at a hotel for a couple of days, or like this is you doing something with your money or your resources that truly makes you happy. And because it's the Three of Cups, this is likely something that is shared. Uh, which is beautiful, right? When it comes to your physical health and vitality, uh, the Three of Cups rules your uh, stomach and your chest. Um, so particularly like uh, the breasts, etc. Um, 
just i mean that's not to say i see any challenges or issues here i'm just saying that's generally the part of the body uh, when it comes to your home and environment this could literally be maybe you're going to pick someone up from the airport maybe you're going to pick someone up from wherever they live so that they can come and stay with you and stay with the family there's a sense of reconnection here this month and i think this is absolutely wonderful and i think a lot of people can agree that it's much enjoyed <laughs> it will be much enjoyed when it comes to your communications and conversations, you've got the Four of Swords. To be honest with you, it's just a slow and steady month. There's nothing major here so far that really kind of sticks out and makes me go, ooh. The Four of Swords is about rest, recuperation. It's also about meditation and rumination. You've got this right next to the Three of Cups, right? So one of the things that I want to say to you, this is about spending money on things that bring you peace spending money on things that bring you joy spending money on things that are going to reconnect you with the people that you love the four of swords is slow steady it's not fast it's not ostentatious it is in your communication sector so this might be a month where maybe there aren't that many people in touch maybe the client uh, you know load slows down it's you know holiday season even though the world is crazy at the moment this is a time actually i think for you to slow down enjoy what you've done enjoy what you've built take a moment to just really be present to be in your uh, energy to be in the energy of those people that you love and care about and just to be in that space of enjoying it and having that slow down you know we're so uh, quick and fast to do everything quick and fast in these days you know gotta do more gotta be more gotta have more gotta you know travel more blah, 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 like all of this like to have those moments where you can just be and be with the people that you love and care about most this is wonderful i think this is great for your heart and half look at this you've got the nine of cups what a gorgeous card so for those of you that are partnered married in relationships or in long-term relationships this whole line suggests slow easy wonderful beautiful harmonious connection and communication this is uh, the rest that comes after completion of a, a long project this is the enjoyment that comes from that weekend that you can have with your partner where you know the grandparents are looking after the kids uh, you you know like it's, it's those things those moments because the nine of cups is wish fulfillment this is literally in your relationship so the the familial ties and relationships are beautiful and strong but the relationship ties are strong and there's this just constant slow steady warm vibrant energy that is life affirming i kind of feel like like in my mind i've just got this image of like someone walking through the cornfield barefoot you know one of those hats on just you know fingers running through the corn and just just living and loving like that, that for me is like my idea of heaven so you know <laughs> maybe it's not for everybody but you, you get my point i just feel like this is going to be a really beautiful and slow but steady month so you've had two cards jump out the first one face up to me is the high priestess so this is right underneath the knight of pentacles i feel like this is going to be a surprise trip or a surprise journey or a surprise visit um of some sort right why Hid the high priestess hidden things things that you aren't necessarily aware of comes up with the knight of pentacles maybe you're surprising the partner or a friend saying hey look we're going on a road trip I've already organized this, this, and this to make it happen. Maybe someone turns up and says that to you, or maybe a friend or a family member that you haven't seen for some time. You know, the, the, the door knocks, you're not even expecting it, you open it, and you're like, oh my God, I haven't seen you forever. Da, da, da. Like it's, It could be really, really nice. For your second week of the month, you have the judgment card pop out as well. This is a card of profound change, big change, huge clearing of the decks change. So this second week of the month, I think this is going to be that moment where you say, no, I'm putting it down and I'm actually going to enjoy myself a little bit more. I'm going to be more in that energy of really enjoying and enhancing the experience that I'm having. I actually really like that. I think it's very nice. Um, what it also suggests as well is that for some of you that are having reunions happen, this is either a friend that you haven't seen for a very long time or a family member that you haven't seen for a very long time uh, and the fact that it is the judgment card there's something here where you are um i don't want to say reigniting a bond but 
reinvigorating a bond, I guess, is what I'm looking for. So for your third week of the month, you've got the full card, right? So look at this. Just, I mean, the first thing that I will say to you, remember the full card is new things, places, people, and energies. And it comes in with the, the four of swords. So what I want to say to you is if it, when it comes to work, when it comes to the profession, when it comes to the career, if there are invites that come up for you this month, you don't have to jump at them straight away, right? They're coming in now. Just say, look, can I have some time to think about it? Looks like a good offer. Looks like a solid offer. It looks like it will go ahead, whatever it is. Um, but I don't feel like this is something that you're meant to leap into straight away. I feel like this month, the message is really clear. Take time to enjoy the experience that you're having. Take time to enhance the experience that you're having. And then for your fourth week of the month, you've got the death card. Okay, so not always, you know, literal death. It comes up right next to the full card. Uh, so that in itself is quite interesting. And it does suggest that there is going to be a spontaneous completion of some sort. Uh, now, it's right underneath the Nine of Cups, which is a wish fulfillment card. So this is interesting. This, like, as an example for me that feels like a delay there's something that you want to do something that you're hoping to do but it's maybe delayed um you know maybe you'd planned to go on holiday and it's like yeah this will happen it's just not going to happen maybe in the time frame that you were hoping or maybe you uh, maybe you'd already booked something in you know and it looked like it was all going ahead fine and then last minute they kind of say to you oh you know what we're gonna have to push this back by a day it doesn't look like it's really serious if I'm completely honest with you this is you know the death card rarely means actual death and it has very specific signatures when it comes up uh, <clears throat> All right, so for your full moon and, or your new moon and full moon messages from the Human Design Oracle deck, your new moon message is the gate 17 and opinions, right? This is a really interesting one. You see the how the, the tree is reflected there. And the message from this card and this gate actually is literally that. The way that we see things or envision things is always very different to how somebody else sees it. It's one of the reasons, um, you know, movies from books are rarely ever, um, uh, you know, enjoyed by like unanimously. And it's because everybody has a different opinion or a different vision of what that's going to be in their mind. So this new moon is trying to show you that even though there might be a difference of opinions, even though there might be a difference of understandings in some way, shape or form, you are still looking at the same thing. All right. So I guess what I'm trying to say is just give time and energy not only to your own ideas but also to other people's ideas you know you might get something really valuable from it and then for your full moon message you have the gate eight and contribution with the sunflower on there this is light warmth heat it's fun it's enjoyment and look at this as well so you've got the gate 17 one and seven gives you eight then you've got the gate eight here as well i find that really interesting so it's kind of like two halves of a whole right and the contribution card is basically saying your unique voice, right? This full moon in the month of July is trying to show you that your unique voice, your unique energy is a contribution that matters. You know, as I like to say, the, the, the grand tapestry wouldn't be what it was without any single one of us being here. And so this full moon is trying to highlight to you maybe what yours actually is, maybe what it's going to be. You know, so if you find that a really, you know, strange, different, big, uh, you know, out there idea comes to you over the course of this month, don't be surprised. It's just part and parcel of the energy that you're moving through at this time. With that said, I wish you an abundance of all of that good stuff. Have a fantastic month. Let me know in the comments how it shapes up. Take care and I'll see you soon.